So today I'm talking about a U0164 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0164 code? Well, it's a last communication with HVAC control module. And so what does this mean? Well, basically many vehicles nowadays, they have a computer that's controlling the heating and cooling system inside of the vehicle. So they're getting different inputs from different sensors, and then they're automatically controlling the heating and cooling. This can vary depending on the vehicle. Sometimes it's just controlling the front seat. Sometimes it's controlling the front and the back. And the basics of how this is all working is that modern vehicles, they have different control modules that are doing different things. So for example, you can have an engine control module or a powertrain control module, a transmission control module, an ABS control module and of course this HVAC control module. Each one of these computers is getting information from different sensors, and then it's just controlling one specific thing. So for example, like an engine control module, that would be controlling all the engine functions, like the injectors, engine timing, the O2 sensors. The HVAC control module is just gonna be controlling the heating and cooling inside the vehicle, and it's gonna be receiving its information from different sensors and controlling the output. And so that all these computers can communicate with each other. There's what's called a CAN bus. There can be different types of buses but what's called a CAN bus is very common and basically all the CAN bus is is it's all the wires running between all the computers and then right where they plug in and how they're talking to each other so you could kind of think of the CAN bus like an ethernet in a home where you could plug into like the router and then you could go plug into the computer and they could communicate with each other that's basically all the CAN bus is it's just all the wires running around to all the different computers and how they're all communicating but when you get this U0164 code, for some reason, the main computer can no longer communicate with the HVAC control module. It is seeing some kind of issue going on with it. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this U0164 code or any wiring or computer code really is that sometimes it can be kind of hard to troubleshoot and diagnose because it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot wiring and different computer issues. And so basically keep in mind, sometimes this can be hard to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0164 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you have any kind of computer problem inside of a vehicle is go check your battery. Be sure it's good. Be sure all your connections are good. There's no corrosion going on or anything like this. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply for that can throw them off. That can cause them to do weird things. Usually, if it is a bad power supply, you'll also begin other issues like other computer control module errors or something like that. But basically, keep in mind that if there's any kind of power supply problem going to that HVAC control module, then that's going to cause problems. So the first thing that could cause this is a bad power source. And the next thing they're going to look for is going to be a blown fuse. And which fuses they're going to check is really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. But basically, it's a good idea to go check any fuses related to the computer. So this would be things labeled like ECM, PCM, ECU, and of course, anything labeled like HVAC. Because the next thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. And the next thing that's going to cause this is the wiring going to the computer control module. If there's any issue inside the wiring, there's like an open, there's a short, one of these plugs has a loose connection, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go check out the wiring, be sure it all looks like it's good, that it doesn't look like there's damage or anything like this. You can also get schematics for your particular vehicle and a multimeter and go and check the wiring and be sure there's no open or short or anything like that in any of the wires because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that that HVAC control module is just failed and just needs to be replaced. These modules are usually located up behind the dashboard, quite often in hard to read spots. Like I said before, it can be difficult to troubleshoot if it is a bad computer. If you go through and you check everything else, you got good power going to it. There's no blowing fuses. All the wiring is good, different things like this. Then it is possible that that computer has gone bad and needs to be replaced. One thing to mention about these computers is that sometimes when they go bad is that they get burnt components on the board. Not all the time. They, they can go bad and there's no burnt components, so you don't see nothing wrong with them, but they're bad. But quite often there is burnt components on there. And so if you go around that computer control module and you can smell anything burnt, like a burnt smell, then that very likely is a sign that there is a problem with that computer control module. Like I said, these can go bad and there's no burnt components on them, but you can even sometimes open them up and check to see how they look inside of there. Because if there is burnt components on there, then you know it's failed. But the last thing on the list is going to be that that HVAC control module is failed and just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0164 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.